October 24th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible James chapter 3 from the New Testament Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers and sisters, because you know that we will be judged more strictly. For we all stumble in many ways. If someone does not stumble in what he says, he is a perfect individual, able to control the entire body as well. And if we put bits into the mouths of horses to get them to obey us, then we guide their entire bodies. Look at ships, too. Though they are so large and driven by harsh winds, they are steered by a tiny rudder wherever the pilot's inclination directs. So, too, the tongue is a small part of the body, yet it has great pretensions. Think how a small flame sets a huge forest ablaze. And the tongue is a fire. The tongue represents the world of wrongdoing among the parts of our bodies. It pollutes the entire body and sets fire to the course of human existence, and it is set on fire by hell. For every kind of animal, bird, reptile, and sea creature is subdued and has been subdued by humankind. But no human being can subdue the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With it we bless the Lord and Father, and with it we curse people made in God's image. From the same mouth comes blessing and cursing. These things should not be so, my brothers and sisters. A spring does not pour out fresh water and bitter water from the same opening, does it? Can a fig tree produce olives, my brothers and sisters, or a vine produce figs? Neither can a salt water spring produce fresh water. Who is wise and understanding among you? By his good conduct, he should show his works done in the gentleness that wisdom brings. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfishness in your hearts, do not boast and tell lies against the truth. Such wisdom does not come from above, but is earthly, natural, demonic. From where there is jealousy and selfishness, there is disorder and every evil practice. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, accommodating, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and not hypocritical. And the fruit that consists of righteousness is planted in peace among those who make peace. God, I was reading this great quote about our words, and it said, if only our tongues were made of glass, how much more careful we would be when we speak. And I think we would possibly speak less and our tone would be softer. Uh, exactly what James is talking about in this particular chapter. I grew up knowing full well that emotional abuse, uh, the abuse of words, was way more painful and way more lasting than any physical abuse I received. And we all know, everyone listening to this video knows the pain of those words. Those words that can break your heart and destroy your world. Amazingly, it's the same mouth that we can bring encouragement to and support and love and kindness and compassion. And as James goes on to talk about uh, that purity, that peace, that gentleness, to be accommodating, full of mercy, uh, impartial and not hypocritical, uh, very much like the fruits in uh, Galatians 5 that we often talk about, the fruits of the Spirit. God, I, I request today that you look inside my heart and you look inside my mind and all of the wonderful things that you have put in there, all the kind things, the compassionate things, the soft and gentle things, God, I allow you to help give me discernment for allowing those to come out of my mouth and not the other things that are said in, in hurt and in anger and frustration. Allow me to look at every single person I talk to, whether it be online or in person, as one of your children that you created. You formed each and every one of us with your hands. There's not a person who deserves our wrath or our anger. It doesn't mean that people don't screw up and we don't need to talk to them about it. But we can definitely change how we have that conversation and produce much better effects 
in terms of our new heart that you gave us. One of the first Bible verses I, I ever memorized was from uh, the Psalms, Psalm 19, verse 14. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. And God, I ask that you help me remember that verse as I go throughout my day. Um, allow me to understand that the pain of biting my tongue is way less severe than what is about to come out of my mouth and how it will hurt and damage another person. God, you speak to me with gentleness and kindness and patience and compassion because of how much you love me. Allow my words today and all the days going forward to speak and reflect that same love that you have for me. Allow me to show that love to others. In your son's name I pray. Amen. Thank you.